Hello, this is a quick tour of the Effecta Smart wood boiler. Here we have the Effecta Smart 40, which is approximately 135,000 BTUs per hour. I've got the main cover off so that you can see what's behind it. This is what the cover looks like. This is the main control unit for the boiler. It's in 120 volts. These are the primary and secondary air actuators for controlling combustion. This is what it looks like inside. This is the air slot where all of the smoke exits to go into the afterburner at the base of the boiler. It's hard to see, but this firebox is tapered. It's wider at the bottom than at the top so that wood is less likely to bridge. Here you have a smoke hood so that if you open the boiler when there's fire present, the smoke will be drawn into the top of the boiler and to the back to the flue collar and up the chimney. When I open the door, you might have heard a clang. That's because this door is connected by a rod right here that goes to the back of the boiler. Every time I open and close this door, this rod lifts the heat exchange cleaners and then drops them. That scraping and percussive force during the drop helps clean those tubes off so that you don't have to brush them very often. Down here, we have the secondary combustion area. This is the afterburner. This is made of a piece of special stainless steel. It's held in with tabs. It's very easy to remove. And when it is removed, you have complete access to the bottom of the boiler for service. The latches and hinges on this boiler are all adjustable. This is the latch side hinge side and as you can see that steel is plenty hefty. These will last the life of the boiler. This is what the latch looks like. At the back of the boiler this is the flue collar which is in metric. Tarn Biomass provides a nice fitting adapter that takes it from metric to six inch. This is the induction fan which is a low wattage 120 volt fans held on with four wing nuts and because of this quick disconnect it's very easy to service this fan if you need to for cleaning. You just take it off and you can set it on a bench. This is the return and drain. Here's where your incoming power is fed. Outgoing power to the pump. These are openings that go to the power board that I showed you in the front of the boiler. And those would be used if you were going to run sensors from a mixing valve into that control board. Up here, we have these copper tubes which are uh, going to a coil that sits in the top of the boiler for emergency heat dumping. This is your supply tapping. Here is the control head. It is a menu-driven interface. The knob is a turn and push similar to an iPod. So that's the Smart 40. We'd love to tell you more about it. Don't hesitate to call 1-800-STAY-WARM.